اللهم اهدنا بفضلك في من هديت وعافنا في من عافيت وتولنا في من توليت وبارك لنا في ما أعطيت وقنا واصرف عنا شر ما قديت فإنك تقضي بالحق ولا يقضى عليك وإنه لا يذل من واليت ولا يعز من عاديت تباركت ربنا وتعاليت فلك الحمد على ما قديت نستغفرك اللهم من كل الذنوب ونتوب إليك وصلى الله على النبي الأمي وعلى آله وصحبه وسلم اللهم اكشف عنا من البلايا ما لا يكشف غيرك اللهم اسقنا الغيس سقيا رحمة ولا تجعلنا من القانتين رب اغفر وارحم وأنت خير الراحمين اللهم فاتح لنا فتحا مبينا وأنت خير الفاتحين فقطع دابر القوم الذين ظلموا والحمد لله رب العالمين Guide us by your favor to those whom you, you guided and pardon us with those whom you have pardoned Bring us close to those whom you have brought, whom you have befriended, and bless us in all that you gave us. Protect us and turn away from us the evil of what you have decreed, for it is you that decrees, and there is no decree upon you. You do not humiliate the one whom you have befriended, and do not increase the one whom you have taken as an enemy. Blessed and exalted are you, O Lord. To you all praise for what you have decreed. We ask you forgiveness, O Allah, and turn in repentance to you. All those blessings and peace be upon Sayyidina Muhammad وسلم, and his family and his companions. O Allah, lift from us trials which no one but you can lift. O Allah, give us to drink from the rain of your mercy, and let us not be of the despondent. O Allah, forgive and have mercy, for you are most merciful. O Allah, open for us a manifest opening, for you are the best of openers. So the last remnant of the people who did evil was cut off. Praise be to Allah, Lord of the worlds. <laughs> وبسير سورة الفاتحة آمين يا ربي في ليلة المبارك إن شاء الله الله عز وجل dress us from the blessings and the immense blessings of Laylat al-Mahdi alayhi salam and Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh This is Shaykh Nurjan, thank you for watching the video that you're watching. InshaAllah if you're happy with the content and happy with these programs please support the button below the programs that we have for our orphanage repairs, our water well, give the gift of life, our mobile food vans. We have now five vans, Vancouver, Chicago, Los Angeles, Pakistan. There's many programs that reach thousands of people and rescue foods and give those supplies to people in need. Your support is greatly appreciated. Also, be so kind as to leave uh, loving comments and please share the stream, every bit counts. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. The waladat and holy birth of Imam al Hassan a.s., the beloved grandchild of Sayyidina Muhammad and the son of Imam Ali a.s., and that Allah address us from the immensity of tonight and its blessings and count us amongst those whom are ashiqeen and mahdeen. Ameen Ya Rabbil Alameen Bi hurmati Muhammad al-Mustafa wa bi siri Surat al-Fatiha Ameen Ya Rabbil Alameen A'udhu Billahi Minash Shaitan Ar-Razeem Bismillahir Rahmanir Raheem Atiyaullah Atiyaul Rasul Wa Al-Alamri Minkum And always a reminder for myself and Abdul Ajeezu Da'ifu Miskeen Azhar Wa Jahad And but for the grace of Allah that we're still in existence Alhamdulillah Allah granted us this gift of tariqah this ishq and muhabbat of Sayyidina Muhammad and by means of that immense love and immense gift that Allah draws us near 
to these realities. So if we swap and ask ourselves, Ya Rabbi what did we do to deserve this? There's no action that somebody can do and there's no understanding in the mind that how do I find myself on this path of realities and on this way to the love of Sayyidina Muhammad and these holy souls. And that Allah granted us to be from the last of the nations, that as this dunya is coming towards its end and inshaAllah we are from those whom will see its ending and see the immense changes upon this earth and that's an immense blessing from Allah that one of the, the greatest gifts of this nation is to be from the last of the nation, that we'll see the, the advents of uh, Armageddon and to be inshaAllah in the presence of Sayyidina Mahdi salam. And we pray that Allah write for us a good character and immense blessings to be in the presence of such a holy souls, that the completion of faith is is an immense blessing to be in these events and to, to witness the arrival of Sayyidina Mahdi And that all this teaching it draws for us to understand that it's the love and ishq and muhabbat of Sayyidina Muhammad that draws us near into this presence. On this holy night of the birth of Imam al Hasan and it's no coincidence that Laylatul Mahdi salam is the same that Allah programmed this creation each with its immense, immense secrets that, Ya Rahman bihaqq al-Imam al-Hasan and from Rahman al-Rahim and the secrets of Nur and Hay, that Sifat of Rahman al-Ashr al-Dawa when Allah is describing that al-Rahman al-Ashr al-Dawa that the, the seat of authority means the authorized sifat that governs this mulk is under the secret of Ar-Rahman and that Allah gave the governing name of Allah's name for the world of form and Ar-Rahman is the secret of nur and light. That from the rahim comes a noon and that noon is a birth of light. And from unseen dimensions when Allah wants it to be seen, He grants it that noon. So the noon and the reality of nur and a light that Allah when He wants His creation to come into existence. He grants it a light so that it manifests, this is the secret of manifestation. This is one of the understandings of Rahman and Ashrit Dawa that it is the governing attribute for the mulk. And from the repentance of Sayyidina Adam salam that Allah writes everything perfectly for the way of marifah that He gave Sayyidina Adam a tour of paradise before He sent him to the earth. And before he did the things he did that was making him to come to the earth, he saw the immensities of these lights and from one of those realities he saw that the attribute of our Rahman and bihaqq al-Imam al-Hasan. Alhamdulillah awliyaullah come into our lives and remind us that this immense teachings that Allah when creating Sifat al-Rahman and when the light of Nur Muhammad comes into existence from that light he brings the light of the soul of Imam al-Hasan salam and dresses it from Sifat al-Rahman. And that, that any light coming into existence is going to be governed by this Sifat al-Rahman in the world of mulk and he gave that under the authority of Imam al-Hasan salam. And those are the realities within the reality of Sayyidina Muhammad and Sani Qamil. And that Prophet's 
light in the world of light because everything is from the light of insana karma, the perfected creation of this form, the Adamic form, the reality of that Muhammadan form means that from the right eye is a rahman and this is the reality of Imam al-Hasan and that from the left eye is Sifat al-Rahim and has to do with the oceans of al-Hayyat because it has the Hay and the Hayyat within Rahim. And this is the reality of Imam al Husayn and that's why Imam al Hasan wal Husayn is the Qurat al Ain, is the beatific eyes and vision of Prophet in the world of light. So, if you visualize this world of light with the form of Sayyidina Muhammad that from that right eye is the secret of Imam al Hasan. And from the left eye is the secret of Imam al Husayn and they carry the secret of light and hayat. Means then this descendant of theirs that coming upon this earth and the bloodline that coming upon the earth known as Sayyidina Muhammad and Mahdi That coming to perfect the light. There's not a coincidence that in the holy month of Ramadan is the month of light, the light of Qur'an. Means these lights of Qur'an that Allah want to dress upon the nation of Sayyidina Muhammad He puts in the middle of Ramadan the birthday of Imam al Hasan Means that that noon and that light is a secret and address from Holy Qur'an. By having this light and by having this love, by having the love of Sayyidina Muhammad the love of Ahlul Bayt, Allah opens for us the immensities of this secrets of nur. That Rahman comes to dress us, the key of, of the opening of Rahman is the love of Imam al Hasan it's like a miftah rahmah, the key of mercy that this love of Prophet and that when we love what Prophet loves of his holy companions and holy family means Allah put that secret in this reality of Imam and Hasan that when you love him and that you celebrate that love and you come together and remember that love, remember his holy birth as if Allah giving us the secret of lights from the sultan and the king of that reality, his holy arwa of Imam al Hasan salam, what he dresses upon the nation of the secrets of these lights and the secrets of these blessings. Nun wal qalam means that just the immensities of these blessings keep dressing the nation. That this light and how it dresses us and blesses us of its immensities. This is the light that we are in need of to be with Sayyidina Mahdi This is the light that Ramadan dresses us with and in the last days, the Ramadan of the last days become the month of power, the month of spiritual dress to prepare us for the events that happening upon this earth, the difficulties that coming upon this earth. So that as the earth is cast into darkness the believers will be cast into light. Means the Allah begins to turn the lights off on dunya and cast them into a zulumat. Means when we say that darkness is coming onto the earth, zalim and the word for oppression is the same word for darkness. So when we say that a zulum is coming and you see it, you see all the signs of them, all of these signs are upon this earth. Means that a, a zulm has come, an oppression has come upon this earth and as a result that oppression its equal sign is darkness. So then what happens with darkness? Literally people are cast into darkness, they're not understanding which way to go. They look and see their accounts are going to be taken. They look another way their rights are going to be taken. They look another way this is going to collapse. That every 
direction that people are looking at and this is not us saying this, this is, you look at social media and you get nervous just listening to how nervous they are. Right? You have, you have to take an antidepressant just to watch what their social media is doing. That's a, the… what we call ourselves the watchers that sit at a distance with your faith and look to them. You know before you'd have to sit with a spiritual eye to look what's happening with humanity. And SubhanAllah Allah made that to be so miraculously easy that He's allowing everybody to look. So look at social media, that you look at social media like casting a vision upon the earth and from one click to the next feed, next feed, next feed, next feed, they're all dying of anxiety. That this is gonna, this is gonna happen, this is gonna happen, this is gonna happen, everyone so nervously and frantically sort of saying all the things that are going to happen but as an outside observer you're watching and vigilantly seeing what is… what are these people talking about? And this is the zulamat that coming. As a darkness begins to enter into a room, what happens when the people who don't have night vision, they become worried, what happens in this darkness? I no longer see what's an obstacle in this room that's going to hurt me. Maybe there's something in this room that I'll bump into, maybe there's creatures that I can't see anymore and now it becomes something dangerous for me. So we see the signs of this zulamat by just being an outside observer through social media. The immensity of their panic, the immensity of their fears and worries and concerns. And they said that two things happen in an extreme state of danger. One is that people will become hyper alert and conscious of their death and as a result they move towards spirituality. They see that death and difficulty is imminent and they have a guidance within themselves to find their spiritual remedy or they become… Uh, they lose all inhibitions, they become extremely negative, bad and vulgar because they believe the world is ending therefore they're going to end it with a bang. And you see now the dichotomy coming upon this earth in which they're extremely vulgar as if they know they're going to die but they're dying tomorrow and the others extremely worried seeking out the light. So it means the signs are, are evident for those whom have eyes to see and they don't even need spiritual eyes to see. The purpose of the meditation, the connection, the, the madad and the support and what we described last week, the strongest reality of madad is not that which you try to understand scientifically through your mind but through the good character with the good character and love for these holy souls, with the good character and love, with good actions and good deeds, it opens and blossoms the heart of reality. And if that heart opens like a magnet it will be attracted to the oceans of Divine love. It will find its course back. It's not a, a calibration through the head that wears the heavens how do I connect with Prophet Do I have to like a ship look in the dark? You know how they find the Qibla when they're praying, they move the carpet two degrees this way and two degrees that way as if they're shooting uh, something to the direction of the Kaaba because everything they do is by their mind. But this is a path based on the heart. Kaaba is exactly where your heart is, whether you go this way, that way, Allah says, wherever you turn your faces to Kaaba. So the one whom their ishq of Allah is in their heart, wherever they are Allah's Qibla is right there. 
means that this qalb and this heart if we condition it with the good character, good manners, increase the salawat, make all of this love and nasheeds and all of these praisings and, and deeds of love and muhabbat, the heart is a magnet like a rose that will direct itself to the presence of Prophet Prophet's magnetic juzbah is attracted to the beatific character and deeds of insan. It's repelled by badness. That's why then we purify the deeds and actions. My juzbah and my connection to the presence of Prophet is by the purity of my ishq. Anything that's impure in my light based on my deeds and my actions is my responsibility to clean them, to perfect them, to make an amends in which to rid myself of them. And as a result when that impurity goes and burned away, washed away with istighfar, with conscious awareness of what was wrong and what's bad and make a conscious effort to change the bad character, what happens? It becomes like a pure gold. That pure gold and that pure sort of magnetic connection to Prophet with the salawas, the durood, the nasheeds, all of these celebrations, the charity going out and giving food and giving services, like a magnet and a ship that directly moves to the presence of Prophet The purpose of the shaykh is then to make that reflection and give the teaching and continuously encourage the student good character and love, good character and love and leave the bad and increase the good. And as a result of their meditation and keep making your heart to be connected, keep doing all of these good practices, this love is beginning to reflect upon the student. And as a part of that reflection they move faster into the presence of Sayyidina Muhammad As a result of that light and as that love they become in these last days Mahdiyun. <sighs> what do we have in the Jumma Khulafai Rashideen and Mahdiyeen? Badahum wuzraya kamileen means that this is the, the three states we must go through. That Allah wants us to be Rashideen and Mahdiin. Rashideen means that you're under a sifat al Rashid and Irshad. So, one whom doesn't have a shaykh, this becomes a very difficult attribute to be dressed by. To be Rashideen means somebody with a sifat al Rashid, the one whom Allah gave irshad and guidance, and you're under their guidance means this attribute of a Rashid and guidance is being given to you. So now you're in the category of being trained as Rashideen. Mahdeen are the Muhammadan Hadi. These are the Muhammadan guides that through their ishq and their love and the Muhammadan reality, as a result of that reality they're dressing their servant, the servants of Allah their students with hidayat and guidance. So we can't be Rashideen if we're not under irshad and guidance, if we don't have a guide who's dressing us from that reality. And if the guide is teaching us of the love of Prophet what happens? Not only you become Al-Hadi, the one whom has been guided, but you become the Muhammadan Hadi which is Mahdiin, that their guidance is towards the perfection of guidance and the perfection of character, the most perfected character the Muhammadan character. And this is immense dressings and realities to the presence of Sayyidina Mahdi 
to be commoning in which they're becoming common in the oceans of the Muhammadan light from insan a common. Means that the perfection of the Muhammadan reality is dressing the servant, dressing the servant. And this, this is an immense realities and dress to be present and to move into the presence of Sayyidina Muhammad al-Mahdi We pray that Allah grant us these lights, grant us these characteristics and that to make our, our being to be from these realities inshaAllah. Subhana rabbika rabbal izzati amma yasifoon wa salaamun al mursaleen wa alhamdulillahi rabbil alameen wa hurmati Muhammad al-Mustafa wa bi siri Surat al-Fatiha. As Salaamu Alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. This is Shaykh Narjan, thank you for watching the video that you're watching. InshaAllah if you're happy with the content and happy with these programs, please support the button below the programs that we have for our orphanage repairs, our water well, give the gift of life, our mobile food vans. We have now five vans, Vancouver, Chicago, Los Angeles, Pakistan. There's many programs that reach thousands of people and rescue foods and give those supplies to people in need. Your support is greatly appreciated. Also, be so kind as to leave uh, loving comments and please share the stream, every bit counts. As Alaikum Warahmatullahi Wabarakatuh.